Coverage now of a massive fire that started last night on the Cleveland near West Side. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Leon Bibb. The flames destroyed multiple buildings and forced people to run from their homes. More than a dozen people have been displaced after an abandoned business went up in flames. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty joins us live from Madison Avenue and West 98th Street in Cleveland. Dan, do we know how this fire started? Leon, they don't know yet, and it's not going to be easy. As you see, the backhoes behind me still tearing down these properties. Buildings, uh, three of them were burned. A lot of people, as you mentioned, were displaced. They don't have anywhere to live right now as they're trying to investigate this fire. I'm joined by Larry Gray with Cleveland Fire. Larry, thanks for talking to us. Uh, we know that the fire started in an abandoned part of the building and spread to where people were living. How many people actually uh, lost their homes? Unfortunately, in this situation, on two sides of the street, we had one house to the north. We lost a family of four with two children. They're displaced. And in this immediate building behind me, there was a total of nine people seven adults and two children that were displaced. The Red Cross was on the scene and they were very supportive and generous in helping us get them shelter for last night. Now you guys are still investigating how this thing started, but when you consider what's behind us over here, how much more difficult does the demolition of these buildings make that investigation? Exactly. When you're dealing with this massive amount of debris that you have to go through, trying to actually find a source can be very time consuming and our investigators were on the scene last night for hours trying to sort through some of the debris and they'll be back again today trying to see just if anything they can discover that can give them any type of indication of what might have caused this fire. How dangerous, Larry, are these abandoned home fires, abandoned business fires? As we're going into the inclement weather months, we know that people turn to alternative means to stay warm. And you have to think about people that are homeless. So what we have to do is ask the community to work with us and assist us. And if they identify anyone uh, taking wood off houses, breaking windows in houses to notify the police department, that way we can keep a tab on those houses and make sure that they're secure because we want to keep our neighborhoods safe. Larry Gilly, uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Also, I just have to mention that this weekend is change your clock, change your batteries. And we like to encourage every to buy out that time because again we're about to transform into the winter months and we want to make sure that everyone changes their clock and they also change their battery. Always good advice Larry. Thank you very much. Larry Gray from Cleveland Fire. Appreciate it. And again he talks about those abandoned homes and our troubleshooter Joe Paganagas did the story just last night saying 12,000 abandoned homes in Cuyahoga County alone. 30,000 in our 17 county viewing area and I talk to firefighters all the time and talk to us how about how dangerous they can be. We'll continue to cover this story and give you an update as soon as they figure out what started it. For now, reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. We will look for your reports later on this afternoon. Many thanks, Dan Haggerty at West 98th Street and Madison Avenue.